All right, we're here today, and uh, we're going to show you the 2024 Fox Factory truck. This thing's unreal. And what we're going to show you is the suspension part, because that's what we like. It's our favorite part. Uh, quick rundown here of what we have. Uh, this suspension is unique to this vehicle. It was specifically made for the whole uh, Baja kits and Fox Factory team. Starting with a 6061 billet aluminum on the control line. We have inner and outer bushings, similar to OE. They are happy in any weather environment with high angle uh, ball joints on the end. Uh, what's that, Calvin? The steering knuckle, right? It looks like it is OE, but it is not. It is absolutely aftermarket and custom for this vehicle only. Uh, the stock ones are cast aluminum. This is cast steel with lightning holes in it, but it is strong. So a really important factor there because that is a failure point when you add aftermarket suspension uh, to a Chevy. An important note to add on that is initially, during testing, these vehicles have about 17,000 test miles on them, uh, durability testing. And initially, the aluminum OE1 actually worked fine. Uh, and sometimes that's how testing works. Everything was going great, great, great. Till then, it wasn't. Till it wasn't. Till it wasn't. Small uh, stress cracks in some of the thinner cross sections of the stock aluminum one. So it was upgraded to make sure it withstand anything. Uh, and these trucks have been through a lot. Got all double shear on the upper control arm. The upper control arm is not only held by the inner pivot, but to strengthen the shock tower, uh, you've got this. Everything is bolt-on, to be noted. And that also integrates into a shock tower that goes over, that also strengthens up. Kind of hard to see, but it goes over the engine. Yep. yep. Um, next up, we have our lower control arm weldment. So these are, it's the large steel welded arm. Um, to back up a little bit, three inches wider each side um, so it's six probably should inches wider. with that probably I said back up it's got <laughs> 14 and a half inches of wheel travel and that is 100% usable wheel travel right you cycle it and you will actually measure that any other competitor out there will not have that actual travel it may say it's got 14 inches of use travel but the usable is closer to 13 yep uh, and that's controlled by a 3.2 inch Fox shock. Um, so these are live valve. These are smart shocks. They're controlled inside the cab um, as well as smarter than you. Probably. Um, I don't know if that's that hard. <laughs> <laughs> 3.2. Uh, it's a massive shock. And one of the, the, the hard parts about um, you know developing a kit that has a 3.2 shock or just something so big is how do you fit all of the OE components around it, right? The axles are custom. They have custom angle on the inside because it has 14 inches of wheel travel, 14 and a half inches. Uh, the steering linkage, you see, this is a fully custom part with a high angle ball joint. Um, steering, steering damper. Boot. Yeah. Damper boot, yeah. Yeah, the, oh, sorry, the factory tie rod, this is not factory, obviously, but it works like a factory tie rod. If you've ever used aftermarket <laughs> suspension quite often, what happens is a boot, water gets inside of it and it ruins electronic rack. These are completely sealed. Lots of thought went into this vehicle, lots of test miles, many iterations of changes. Absolutely, a cool feature here if you can sneak on in. This is something very, very unique. You'll see, basically looks like a little shock there. Um, there's a damper that is mounted on the rack and the steering rack in the steering system to eliminate any steering shake or harsh hits, vibrations, whether you're on braking, turning, um, whether you're in a sand wash or anything like that. So very unique, it's very innovative uh, that the Fox team came up with. Um, so we, we absolutely love that feature there. Um, bump, bump stop, I think that's kind of the last thing. Uh, we have a linkage bump stop here. Uh, this hits the arm and it's integrated all the way through. That's something through, uh, you know, 20 years of, of trophy truck development we've always known is um, you can't hit a top plate without something underneath it to make sure it's integrated all the way through the arm. Quick move to the rear, show them yep. what we got there. I think this is uh, one of our favorite parts, if not the favorite part on the whole truck. Can go over that guy, Jonathan. That is a billet trailing arm. So something that is actually just coming new in the last few years to trophy trucks uh, is a billet trailing arm instead of a welded or a cast or a steel. And what we've got here is a billet trailing arm on a vehicle that comes off the dealership floor with three year, 36,000 mile warranty. Pretty gnarly. Pretty cool. So this is 7075 aluminum. Uh, it starts out as a block. This is not cast. It starts as a whole block and it is milled literally uh, here in Southern California on the, the same, same mill. mill that makes our trophy truck parts. So this is almost as long as our trophy truck trailing arm. Um, it's extremely unique to have a four linked 
trailing arm that is billet on a vehicle, like Jonathan said, that comes off the factory showroom floor. Um, and again, we have active suspension on the back, 3.2 inch coilovers from Fox. And something super, super important to reiterate, everything you see is bolt-on. Uh, there is not a single weld on this truck. This is all bolt-on and um, it's just a very, very cool package that, that works and has been tested. Hello everyone, um, my name is Max Drew. I'm with the Fox Factory uh, Test and Ride Engineering Department on the off-road aftermarket side. Um, so basically for this one I was in charge of the whole vehicle development uh, in terms of field testing, the R&D cycle, and kind of owning all things that have been on it out here in Oklahoma, um, as well as trying to come up with a three year, 36,000 mile warranty for the suspension side. It's kind of a big unknown for us, so lots of different theories that we took to get there and how we can accelerate that um, in a reasonable timeline. But anyways, they quick and dirty, that's kind of what I do here. All right, uh, they didn't stop with the suspension, the carbon bed sides, but made it all the way into the interior, right? really fits every form and function. It's a nice truck. It's not just a well-performing off-road truck. It's also, it's it's really nice when you get in because uh, you have a nice truck. You want it to be nice inside. Um, you want to just touch on the touch point? Absolutely. So, come on over here. So this is the touch point system. Um, this integrates and controls all the suspension. So you can look here. It's just, it's very nice. It was custom made. It's integrated into the Ford, uh, sorry, Chevy. It's integrated into the Chevy. <laughs> Um, the touch point system is really cool. Uh, it controls all the shocks, and as you can see right here, you have multiple modes, on-road, trail, desert, custom, uh, and those are all selected right here. And then you have comfort, balance, sport. So these all change depending on what kind of driver you are, where you're going, what you're doing. Um, Jonathan likes to go in comfort because he's like driving really, really slow. Um, <laughs> and I'm always in- I've never even put it in comfort. I didn't even know that was there. That's funny. Every time I get in it after you drive, it's just like right there. Uh, mine's always on sport because I have to go really, really fast. Um, but anyway, that's just from the video because you had to go faster than that. So. <laughs> I'm Nobu Nagishi. I run the advanced development group at Fox PVG. Um, my team works on the suspension algorithm, the electronics, the software, the user interface, and the mobile app for this truck. It's all part of the next evolution of high performance off-road suspension. Yeah, you can check out the seats. They're pretty bitchin'. Uh, all suede, all Cantera leather, and got a really nice form fit function. Um, the whole interior in general, it's amazing. You know, with the carbon fiber inlays all over, it suits the rest of the truck. Hey, there's um, a lot of uh, political statements in here, we'll say as well. Uh, <laughs> Fox does not condone or exactly you know, anything that's you see out here, but uh, just that's a really cool spot. Yeah, 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 there's a disclaimer, um, but a super cool spot to check out. Um, the more you look, the more you find. Uh, and with that, I'm going to throw it over to Max, who spent his entire childhood out here testing, knows these trails like the back of his hand, um, and go from there. Yeah, so quick history on it. Um, we spent a lot of time in district racing down here on motorcycles for a good amount of years. Um, but just a classic beer drinking spot, to be honest. Octi is a very small town. Um, but just in general, it's kind of a quick pass through. We always want to take everyone through. It just shows kind of where the truck's history and origins are from. Um, and kind of not give it credibility, but like it's built and designed to be out here in the desert. It's not a gimmick. This truck has been put through the ringers. Um, and it's kind of trying to embody that with it. It's an off road truck that's used for this purpose. And it's kind of representing all of this, or at least it's being represented by it, vice versa. Left on this 
one. Yep.